I'm from a small village in North Estonia. It's in a community called Kuusalu. I decided to study history because I wanted to know why things are the way they are in the world. And I thought history would be a good place to start. Uh, my topic is migrations, diasporas, and the history of mentality. Yeah, I feel really well integrated here. I was able to organize an event at the Latvian University. It's a seminar for young diaspora researchers and we had participants from Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, but also Sweden, Canada and the United States and it was a really wonderful day and we got to hear what's going on in the field right now and exchange ideas and it was great and I'm very grateful for Latvian University for helping me do this. I've always had a fascination with the Baltic countries and I've been to Latvia quite a few times, I think at least maybe 15 or 20 times. It's never been enough for me. I've always wanted to really explore what it's like to be here in Latvia. And so I applied for a scholarship from the European Social Fund, Dora, and I got it and I was able to come. I didn't come alone, I came with my husband and our dog. So we've spent a lot of time exploring the parks in Riga. There are a lot of parks, I love it. My dog loves it too. Oh, when I first came to Riga, I remember I made a lot of mistakes talking Latvian because I really wanted to, but I, I wasn't very good. And I remember there was a lot of confusion sometimes with the things that I said. Like I remember it was, I think February, it was really cold and I was telling people what I did the previous weekend and I said that I went and slept in Meja parks. I wanted to say that I went and walked in Meja Parks, but I said I slept in Meja Parks and everybody had this weird expression on their face and this, are you sure, what? And I said, yeah, 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 I slept there, it's really good, it's nice, I like it. My dog came too and stuff like that. Estonia and Latvia are similar enough to be relatable to each other, but they're different enough to make the comparisons interesting. So I think just like living here and experiencing the day-to-day -day life, there's just so many little things that are a little bit different than back home. That's what makes it worthwhile for me. Pretty soon I'm going back to Estonia and then I will continue work on my dissertation. I work at the radio as well, so I'm gonna be on the air a lot in the summer and then uh, I'm organizing another big conference for September and after that I think I will go uh, to the United States for a little while to do more research and then hopefully before Christmas I will have my studies done. Sean Mino Gogamos.